So T-Pain recently shared with his fans just how little publishing money he makes from the song Buy You a Drink. What's up, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and check this out. T-Pain revealed that he doesn't make as much money as his fans think from the track Buy You a Drink, even though it's perhaps his best known song. In an undated radio interview that has since gone viral on TikTok, T-Pain revealed that his hit track had more cooks in the kitchen than his fans realized, which is the reason why it didn't make him that much money. Y'all looked up the publishing on Buy You a Drink? It is crazy. Bro, like publishing wise, I probably get like no money from Buy You a Drink. So all those things that I said in buy you a drink that was from other songs when buy you a drink like blew up blew up all them people and writers from them other songs said they were owed <laughs> shit from my song because i <laughs> you're like fuck. i was like what the fuck <laughs> i was like paying homage and shit <laughs> so like yeah. money in the bank i got money in the bank and scrappy and his writers came for that oh snap your fingers do your step Lil John and E40 oh, and Scrappy. everybody on that song came for me. Walk it out. Mente has a credit too. Yeah. Yeah. Walk it out. Monte got a credit on that bitch. I was like, God damn, what's going on? It's our money in the bank. <laughs> T Pain may not make as much money as he wanted to from Buy You a Drink, but it is still a cultural touchstone. And speaking of cultural touchstones, back in 2021, he revealed how the making of his song Bartender actually saved a man's life. Payne joined Steve-O's Wild Ride podcast in August of 2021, where he told the story about how he cheered up a 70-something-year-old man who was getting ready to take his own life after learning that his wife had died hours earlier. I went out and saw a bunch of uh, 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 police tape around the, the resort, and uh, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And uh, I, I just went to the bar again and saw this guy old white guy he was just it was like in his fucking 70s and uh I, I i was just i offered him a drink i was like man let's 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 have some fun you know just you know not trolling or fucking with people but uh his name was bob fucked around with bob and he was like uh that police tape back there is uh because my wife just died in the hotel and um, he said, I was getting ready to, I was at the bar taking my last drink. And he was gonna kill himself. He was gonna kill himself. And he was like, the, the way you came up here and showed me love and just had fun with me, you and your friend. And I'd still talk to him to this day. That was like 10 Damn, years ago. Damn, no so that's way. you saying, let me buy you a drink? Yeah. That's what that <laughs> yeah, song came yeah. from? Yeah. I wow. mean, that was, but it was like, it was like a, it was like a thing. I mean, obviously it was free, but it was just like, dude, like he, he was just looking down. I was like, dude, what are you doing? Get up, get up. Just, just, wow. Do some shit. And he was like, I was here taking my last drink and. I mean, I've, I've, been talking to, I've been talking Maybe. to him ever since. And, oh, uh, my God. Wow. Yeah, man. That's it, beautiful. Yeah. It, and, it, and was, that, that, it was crazy. And that, that came from Bartender. That, the song Bartender was made during that. And then all this shit happened after. And it, yeah. So, you know, Bob, I love you, brother. So what are your thoughts on T-Pain not making that much money from his hit song, Buy You a Drink? Let us know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX.